Let's look at an example of normal distribution. Uh, a company manufacturing light bulbs has found that they have a mean life of 300 hours with a standard deviation of 30, 60 hours. So these are very important information. Assuming that the life of hours, life in hours of the light bulbs is normally distributed, find the probability that the light bulb selected at random will last less than 310 hours. So the first thing that we need to do is write the mean and the standard deviation. So the mean, which is written by letter Greek, letter mu, is 300 hours. And SD, which is the standard deviation by letter sigma, is 60 hours. Okay, the question is, we're assuming that the life in hours of the light bulb is normally distributed. So this is an assumption and this can be true in a wide variety of situations. Okay, so you can say normally, uh, in fact, everything can be normally distributed if you take a, a, a huge sample. Okay, so I'm not going into those details now. So this is a normally distributed data. And we want to find that a randomly selected bulb, uh, what's the probability of that bulb to be less, to have a life of less than 310 hours? So I would always start by drawing a normal curve. Okay, so I'll draw this as a normal curve. So this is a normal curve. Okay, and the next thing that I will do is I will show what's the mean. Okay, the mean is always in the middle. So mu is 300. And the value of x that we're interested in is 310. So 310, you decide whether it's it'll to the, it'll be to the left or right of 300. So obviously it has to be the right. So let me say this is my x. Okay, so say this x is 300. Now what's the question? 310 sorry this is 310 now the question is what is the probability of a randomly selected bulb to have a life less than 310 so this is 300 this is 310 so the question is you want to find this area this area is the probability this gives you the probability this area is nothing but the probability of this particular event happening. Now, you should be aware that for any normally distributed data, there are 50% less, less than me and 50% right of me. So we already know this area, this area, so let me uh, shade by a brown color. So this area I'm talking about, to the left of mean, the probability is 50% or we can say this is 0.5. So we know 0.5 and we want to find now this area. So let me shade that in green. So this is the area that we want to find. So let me write what are we, what are they asking us to do. So the question is, what is the probability of x to be less than 310? That's the question. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to change this in from x we need to change this into the uh, the z form x has to be changed into the standard normal variate which is z so z by definition is x minus mu over sigma now z in fact is nothing but uh, the standard deviation or the number of standard deviation a particular value is away from the mean. Okay, so basically when you do x minus mu or x minus mean, you're finding the deviation of a value away from the mean. And then when you divide by the standard deviation, the answer that you're getting is how many standard deviation a particular value is away from the mean. So if you understand that, it helps you to understand the deeper meaning of normal distribution. So, but if you do, if that is too difficult, you can take this as a formula. And so let us put this, so we know x is 310. So it's 310 minus 300 over standard deviation, which is 60, which is uh, 10 over 60, which is 1 sixth. Okay, so 
z1 so i'll write this as say z1 or z1 is 16 which is let us use a calculator i already done that 0 0.1667 so writing in four decimal places this is 0 0.1667 okay now this is from this we'll have to draw the standard normal curve okay so again we'll draw the curve if you go through this process you'll always find that normal distribution is not that difficult okay or any distribution if you go through this process so this is the normal curve or this is this is the standard normal curve i think i can draw better let me draw a better curve so this is a say a normal curve or standard normal curve now the corresponding value for a mean in a standard normal curve is zero okay or 300 corresponds to zero now again if you use the same logic why why is this z so we are here we are writing z so this is your so why is this zero the reason is you are using uh, you are using this concept so x minus mu your x is 300 your mu is also 300 so x 300 minus 300 is 0 divide by 60 is again 0 or in other words if you use your logic you're asking the question 300 is how far away from 300 how many standard deviation away from 300 so that's 300 is 0 away from 300 that's why the z value is uh, 0 now here when you're finding the corresponding value of 310 we are asking the question 310 is how many standard deviations away from uh, 300 310 is 0.1667 standard deviation away from 300 so i think i've explained that so this is your z1 is 0.1667 so we already know that this area this area is 0 0.5 this area is 0 0.5 so we want to find only this area and that we can do by looking up at a standard normal table okay so yeah let me write that in, in mathematical form so probability of z okay so we want to find we want to find the probability of z to be between uh, between 0 and 1.6 sorry 0 0.1667 i'm going slowly so that you understand 0 0.1667 so this is the area we are looking for okay so this is the area we're looking for so this is my table okay so this i think you can see the ruler here so i want to go uh, my the z value that i have got is oops the z value that i have got is 0 0.1667 so how would you read from the table so this is 0 0.1 and 0. Point, this is your z value so you read from the table so the whole table is the z value so this is how you read you first in the first column you look at uh, value 0 0.1 so you go across to 6 okay so you can say the z value for 0 0.16 is i'll say like the 0 0.16 the z value is 0 0.0637 and if you go across to 7 so this is 0 0.16 uh, let us take uh, up to, we can only take up to, also let us take 0 0.167 so if you go along to 7 you can go only up to three decimal places which is 0. Point, uh, this is in, when you read 28 that's actually 0. 0.0028 okay and if you add this up uh, 8 plus 7 is 8 plus 7 is 15 okay so this is five six uh this is six so zero point zero six six five so i have taken up to third decimal place okay so let me go back so yeah probably so this answer is zero point 
zero six six five. Okay. So here to answer this question, we can say the probability of x to be less than three hundred and ten is nothing but zero point five plus zero point zero six six five. So let us add that up. So that is zero point five plus zero point zero six six. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.0665, which is 5, 0 0.5665. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.5. Oh, you could have done without the calculator. You didn't need a calculator. So what does this mean? This means the probability of a light bulb, a randomly selected light bulb, to live or to survive for less than 310 hours is this. Or if you want to express this in percent, that is 56.65% chance or probability for a bulb to survive less than 310 hours. Okay, that's the meaning. Okay, so let's do the last part between the same question between 220 and 270. Now, those who have the graphic calculator, you can do, don't need to go through this whole process. But it is good to learn reading from the table because you understand what's happening. When you do on a calculator, you are basically pressing uh, uh, buttons or keys to get to the answer. You don't know how you're working. You're not going through a thinking process. So let me do, uh, because some of you may be having graphic calculator. So how to do without going through this whole process? But I would recommend that you go through this process. So what you do is, you go to stats, and then you go to distribution, which is F5. Then you go to normal, which is F1. And then you go to NCD, okay, new, uh, normal cumulative distribution. Okay, so I'm not going to that. So the question is, they're asking you, what's your lower limit? So your lower limit is, say, 0. Your lower limit is 0, is somewhere here. You can also put a negative number. Your upper value is 310. Okay, now they're asking you what's the standard deviation. Standard deviation is 60. The sigma is 60, standard deviation. And the mu is 300, just like that. And then you enter and then you execute. So this is 0 0.566. Uh, yeah, that's the answer that we got. Yeah, so that's the answer 0. Point, uh, let me move this 0 0.566. One. So this is more exact. So they have gone to, say, the zillionth level of precision. Okay, so, but this answer is quite good. Or you can say it's 56.61% or 62% from, on the graphic calculator, this is 65, but this is fine. Okay, now let us do one more question. The question is between 220 and 270. So let me uh, draw again the curve. So this is first uh, the actual curve. Your mean is mean is 300, and you want to find between 220. So you know 220 comes somewhere here. It's always good to draw a sketch. 220 and 270 comes here. Okay. So this is the area that you want to find. This is the area you want to find. So I'll do in one same, so the corresponding, so this is your x value. And let's find the corresponding z value on the same t uh, graph. So this is 0. So this will be, if you use your, uh, I don't have the time, I want to finish within 20 minutes. So if you do the calculation, uh, this would be uh, minus 1.33. And this would be, uh, minus 0 0.5 okay so you want to find this area so how do you do it now the not the standard normal table gives you the area between some z is equal to 0 to some value of z so what we're going to do is to find this area we will do let me write the uh, the notation so we want to find the area between uh, 0 0.5 or yeah, so this is 0 
and this is let me write it let me first write minus now as a standard normal table or curve is symmetrical over mean so let me write this is what we want to find we want to find the probability of z to be between minus 1.33 I can write this better I like to do my neat work so minus 1.33 less than z and less than minus 0 0.5 this is same as the probability as it is symmetrical it is between 1.33 less than z less than 0 0.5 so what we're going to do is we are going to find this area first let me use we'll find this area from the table that means this is the area for the value of minus 1.33 from that if you take away say this area if you take away this area we will give you this blue area so basically what we do is so this is probability I'll write in short like this it of Z uh, of 1.33 this is not a mathematical way of writing but I hope you understand minus probability of C is equal to 0 0.5 so basically what we are saying is we find the area of 1.33 and then take away the area of 0 0.5 and the table is always between some value of z, uh, z is equal to 0 to some value of z. So what's the, so let me go, let me delete this ruler. Okay, so the area of 1.33, so this is how you read, this is 1.3, go across to 3, which is 0 0.40, uh, 0 0.4, of 0 0.4082 so let me write it here so 0 0.4082 is the area of 1.33 and the area of 0 0.5 is 0 0.1915 0 0.1915 so this is 7 7 take away 1 is 6 so this is 0 and uh, 2067 I hope I have not done the mistake so let me do the, on the calculator menu run 0.4082 minus 0 0.1915 it's always good to confirm your answer 2167 so this is I was always having a doubt so 2167 so this is 2167 okay so let me go back so the probability is this or I'd go down so this answer is the probability is 0 0.2167 am I right yeah to 0 0.2167 or in other words the probability of a bulb to be between uh, to, li to live between 220 and 270 hours is 21.7 hours in one decimal place.